Howdy folks, it's me, OG Duffy, and we are back for the final. The final has arrived for Arcade Endings. Wow, that was quick. Now that I've sort of looked at the thumbnail, realise that we are looking at Metal Slug. Now what a game this was, okay? But before we get into that, what a roller coaster we have had. 20 of these have gone. 20? It's flown by, isn't it? 20 weeks worth of this series has gone by. If you haven't already done so, go back, check out some of the older ones, guys. Uh, and thanks for watching, and thanks for all your comments, and thanks for the subs, and thank you for doing all the great things you do throughout this series that we follow. So it now comes down to this, the final for Arcade Endings. The last one. It is this, Metal Slug, that brilliant, Side shooting, scrolling. Shoot them up, brilliant game, honestly. Now this come available on an MVS cart that you would slot into a one slot cart for an arcade machine for the Jammer collection. I'm lucky I do own this and I have this on my arcade machine. Unfortunately, I haven't fired my arcade machine up for a few years. It's been in the garage, so I'm hoping during the renovation I'm doing out there that uh, when I do come to power it on towards the end of the renovation, that it's working and all intact. Anyway, moving on. So, Metal Slug, what can we say about this? It was really well done. The graphics were awesome. The sprites were brilliant. It was lovely, brilliant, and colourful. Sound was great. Everything about it was good. And uh, one thing I do remember about this game was there was so much action and, and stuff going on on the screen that it never suffered slowdown to my memory. It, it was a really, really good game. Especially in two-player mode, have both of you attacking the things, you know, and you're getting your power-ups and all that great stuff. It is a really, really good game, and this was quite a long series of these games, uh, and uh, and a lovely comedic effect running throughout. It really did, which made it really, truly, truly unique. So, without further ado, we are now going to go straight in and look at Metal Slug Arcade Endings. Now, before we do so, I have to tell you, there were two endings for this game. Two. So, we'll look at both and we'll see how they differ. Anyway, here we go, Metal Slug.
And for the very last time, we're looking at the final top 20, and it looks like this. In 20th position, we have Kung Fu Master. 19th, Konami's Jailbreak. In 18th, Rolling Thunder. 17th, Shinobi. 16th was Smash TV. In 15th, Double Dragon. 14th was R-Type. In 13th, Wrestle War. Street Fighter coming in on 12th. And then in 11th, we had The Simpsons. And then in the top 10, 10th, we had Robocop. 9th, Aliens. 8th, The Turtles. In 7th, Sunset Riders. In 6th, Dragon's Lair. In 5th, Golden Axe. 4th, Vendetta. 3rd, Chase HQ. In 2nd position, Final Fight, which means our number 1 goes to Metal Slug. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Great job. Wow. What a game to finish the arcade endings on. Now, this is one of little OG's favourite arcade games of all time. He used to love playing this on the cab, so uh, I'll have to get it up and running for him, you know. Um, but anyway, do you agree or disagree where I've put this? It's come straight in and it's knocked Final Fight off the top spot. What a way to end the season, huh, mate? So I've got my final listings there now, all right? That is the final top. 20. Now, to be honest, on reflection, I could have moved a few about, could have changed a few up and stuff, you know, and I'm sure some of you don't fully agree, because let's be honest, none of you would all agree where I've put all of these in the top 20, because everyone's got a different opinion, different memories of these games and stuff, but I have judged it purely on the endings alone, all right? Now, Metal Slug, again, it's coming, it's crashed straight into number one. Do you agree or disagree with that? Do you think it's better than the final fight? I mean, it had two different endings. It was just brilliant. That paper aeroplane whizzing along the landscape, taking everything in. And graphically, it was, it was beautiful. It was a thing of beauty for the time, okay? And it's a game, although I own, I've never seen the ending of. So uh, it's a tough, it's a tough, tough side shooter. Uh, I will definitely do a playthrough on this when I get it back up and running. Anyway, it's the end of... Season 1 of Arcade Endings. We may revisit and do a Season 2 at a later date. But, in between, I've got new stuff coming out, okay? So, in the next few weeks, you'll be seeing the new content. The new content is this. It is Retro Review. I'm going to take a game, whether it's been from an 8-bit home computer classic system, whether it's a 16-bit console, whether it's a modern console. Hey, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to review it today. We're going to look at the old magazine reviews of the time, see what they gave it, and to see if we agree or disagree. Is it a good or bad game overall? Great memories throughout. Suggestions are plenty, because it's, it's endless. So let me have your suggestions. I've been OG Duffy. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for sub subbing, and thank you for the likes and the comments and everything else you do, guys. It's been great looking at these endings, and uh, till the next time. See you next week. Cheers.